sa. Improvise and come back to the bass note. I'll give you an idea as to how we work. We should work on it. Work on, work on, sir. Same thing. You're going from ni to sa, straight. What I want. Sa ni sa. Like when we are playing with the tabla. Also in the ala portion, there is this place where when you work on any particular um, note, you have to come back. This is like the starting point. This means that you have now finished this subject and are moving on to a new, new subject. For instance, new spa as your base and work on it. Wait a minute. Now, that little phrase, you have moved away completely from Yaman, Yaman Kalyan and Yamni into Bhopali. It's extremely important when you come back from... You must develop the knee before coming back. See the difference? Now I'll play a little Bhopali for you. In Yamani... You went. This is this particular phrase, Re Ma Pa. You moved again away from this rag. Now this is the subtle differences. You uh, you're playing the notes which are allowed. If you use them in, in, in a different manner, it becomes a completely different rag. Now you've moved into Sham Kalyan. Same thing. Instead of going Re Ma Pa, you can go Re Ga Ma Dha Pa. This all 
always when you are finishing one subject uh, and you complete your subject and come back straight to your starting point is not enough. Uh, it's important to give the people, the listeners, an indication of what you are going ahead to do next. Supposing I had done That means that next time I go ahead, I'm going to start working on this. Not as a rule, of course. Later on, when you have gone, gone down, at that time you will not use, I mean, you won't go. No, but on, in the initial stage, this part is used to, to, to give an indication to, uh, to you're going to start progressing forward this way. Now, now we, now the next aim for us is to get to Ga. Of course, we have to develop a little on Re before we get there. of the Misra because the tone you got there was uh, it's quite different. Yes, in the, in the beginning when, when students like you were in the beginning, you are taught only to play one stroke, one straight stroke. But uh, according to what you are doing to change the mood of the whole thing, you move your hand a little bit and, and you get a completely different tone. You see, I'm moving from a serious to a slightly uh, more melodious and uh, let's say happy or frivolous or more relaxed note. So I will begin with serious and in the same thing I'll gradually tone it down to a uh, more pleasing kind of that. Second part of, of the concert where you, where, uh, which I'll explain when we get to it. But we have to come back to our starting point again. That in turn should not be very long, you're getting back now. But also it must explore the essence of the rag. This is the essence of uh, Yaman Kalyan and Yamni. Aha! Now you've moved completely away from this rag. You have approached a rag called Shud Malu. Essence of Shud Malu being what you did was. In Yaman Kalyan you go. In Yamni. But if you go 
This is Shudmal. In this stage, the, the tempo of, of the proceedings go up a little bit and you start using uh, a little rhythm the, and there is a basic pulse which carries on uh, all throughout your jod. I mean, uh, you keep, keep that rhythm and that pulse in your mind with your instrument and you can show, show that rhythmic pulse. I mean, that, so it does not have to be a circle of 16 or 20 or 18 or whatever, but that basic rhythm carries on throughout. It may, might get faster and faster uh, in the later stage, but that basic rhythm or that pulse carries on. Jord, yes. After you've developed whatever you, uh, whichever note you want to, or whichever piece, or whatever phrase, you must come back to the starting point again. Yes, it, it, this is the sum. Like we have the starting point, the sum when we play with the tabla, with our um, accompaniment, with percussion. Same thing when you play, um, even even in Western music, uh, not maybe Western classical, but otherwise, when you play with percussion, you play a kind of composition and there is a base, there is one starting point of every composition which we call the sum. I've noticed that you use your foot quite a lot. Yes. Does that this, help? Uh, this is something which um, uh, one, there are few people who do it, a few people don't. This is also keeping with the rhythm. So what? Uh, 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 this is uh, when you use your aesthetic sense. That should all the time during a concert. I mean, there's one monotonous mood. That monotonous, uh, monotonous mood you can carry on, but um, uh, like you're, like you're using different notes. Same way, you should change the mood a little bit. And when you to change mood, uh, we don't sing. You see. <laughs> What I've done is I started with a little aggressive tone, with a little serious tone, but moved into a softer note. But to depict that when you're playing, I mean, we're using vocal as a bass, that's what we're following, it's vocal. The same thing you should try and do with the sitar. you get to pancham, to pa, try with your strokes and with the way you use your notes to change the mood. You're doing quite well. Only an aggressive mood.
we are we've approached pa and we now have to move towards sa here bass note so the preparation is this the stage again you establish the pulse second stage of this jod where we start the jhala jhala meaning where we use one one stroke and then three following it three inwards and one outward so to complete a circle of four and carry on so that also makes kind of pulse chala is not the normal chala this is not the normal yeah. the, it's a complete opposite in the normal inwards. chala you have one inward stroke and three outwards we are using in this chala one outwards and three inwards so it's the reverse then yes it's absolute reverse and you must try and keep the the rhythm doing one note of part is it yes and is there any you can do yes uh, you can go white re ga re ga you can also go re ma re ma re pa re pa it gets heavier get bigger more heavier but you can go re ga ga re ma ma re ga 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 re ma 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 re pa 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 re pa 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 re strokes are uh, dara dara in stroke depends on you if you want to or you want to go 1 2 3 4 or 1 2 1 2 or dara dara or inwards outwards you can you can manipulate it according to the mood you're trying to create so what you're doing is is using stress in different places but 
the power. You don't use the power from your shoulders for this. It's all here. It's all on your wrist. It's all on your wrist. Because actually to pull from do, re, mi, fa, so, or from do to so, five whatever. Notes, five, notes. five notes. You don't uh, need all that power. I mean, it's here. And especially when you're doing this kind of work, you can't go. That would make it more difficult. So try and get your wrist into a subtle kind of... using the weight of the sitar itself? Yes, yes. But my thumb yeah. is helping it. Professionals talk about sitars and they say the, you know, the, it's too light. So yes. is, is that what they mean? Because you can't, won't be able to do this sort no, of thing. No, no, that's not true. Maybe it's a light to their touch. I see. Uh, people are used to using thicker wires or, or a different kind of sitar which has this, the width here is more. Mm -hmm. So that's why. Try. Very good. But keep, keep mental note that from here, which note are you pulling to? That should be clear. Because you go, you can also go ga re 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 ma re re re. 